Hello, welcome back guys to an, uh, my first video of Final Fantasy 7 Remake Demo here. Oh my goodness, I've been waiting this for so many years now for this game to be finally be released. Uh, even though it's a demo version, I am so excited to play this here. Um, and I hope you guys will enjoy it too. Um, and if you are enjoying my content so far, please give me a like and subscribe. Uh, gosh, I, I think I started playing this back in 1997 when on the original PlayStation, uh, and this has given me a lot of fond memories of the game, uh, especially Cloud's blonde hair, spiky blonde hair, big sword. Uh, that, that really intrigued me, and uh, I've never forgotten it since. And this is probably one of the first games I've ever played. Um, but without further ado, let's get on with the game. Um, just rem just remember the the actual game will be coming out on the 10th of April. I've already pre-ordered that. I've got the actual physical copy as well. Um, I'm a bit of a collector as well, so um, that's why I purchased the, the physical copy. But for those of you who haven't, uh, you can get the digital version online as well for your convenience. So to do that, if you go in the top right hand corner, it says option. There's two versions you can get. You can get this, the normal remake, just the game itself, or you can get the digital version, which will include the digital art book, sound track, and the two summon material, which is character and carbuncle, which is good. Price will vary from country to country, but I believe it's probably roughly about twenty to thirty dollars extra if you want to get the digital deluxe version. So let's get going. Okay, there is three level of difficulty on the game. I've been thinking about this for quite some time. Um, whether or not you want to play normal, this is what I will probably be doing uh, once the full version comes out in April. Uh, so the difference is that the normal version will give you full experience of battling. So you actually full control the characters, whether or not from the way they move, the way they attack, defend, using magic, uh, summons. You're in full control of it. For this, I will be continue considering to do just a classic where I, the characters will be defending and attacking automatically and all I need to do is just focus on executing commands such as like magic, healing, using items, things like that. Um, and for those who are new to the Final Fantasy series, there is a easy mode where you can just physically just enjoy the story content without worrying too much about battling. So, let me know down in the comment down below what you guys think, what you guys are doing, and, and if there's any advantages of playing any difficulty. Um, like myself, I'm an old school Final Fantasy VII gamer. I'm going to just try Classic for the first time and obviously enjoy the, the cinematics, uh, get to know more about the gaming itself, how it all works. Uh, but without further rambling on, I better get going and let's play the Classic mode. Enjoy!
Barrett, oh my goodness, this is uh, the, the first chapter, Destruction of Maker Reactor, and oh my goodness, it's the whole time my jaw was just dropped. And it's just absolutely stunning here, oh my goodness. Alright, let's before we continue on, let me just quickly check. No, we can't check any menu button here. Halt! Who goes there? You're up. Alright, so the basics of battle, so use square to attack with cloud sword, hold to unleash an attack capable of hitting multiple enemies. Okay. Okay, since we're on classic mode that I've chosen, uh, so player control cattle engage enemies in battle automatically attacking defending. Okay, and simply wait until your ADP gauge is filled and press X to execute. Got you. You're coming with us! Nice and easy! Don't think so. Yes. That's that. Not bad. Wow. Alright, we leveled up as well. Oh my goodness, command menu. So what do we have here? We've got six motion and one ether. Oh my goodness. And you can see down in the bottom right hand corner that's uh the cloud's health and magic. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him! Okay, so the ATP gauge fills as time passes and by attacking with square, once the bar is full, your character can perform special actions. Charge can be used immediately or save. Got you. Freeze! Move and we shoot! Go ahead. It's over. Alright, that's... You can expend ATP gauge charge to perform battle commands such as using abilities. Press X try using one of the commands. Okay. Enough of this. Where the hell did it? Cool. So when you're not in the battle, we can check the map open menus. Okay, so to access is to press the middle button. Okay, so it also automatically moves, which is good. Alright, here's the map here. Okay, this is also saying what we have, how to continue the story. Okay. Alright, also please comment below whether or not there will be an option where you can change voicing. Uh, I know for a fact that the English is probably the main language, uh, but I would also want to hear the Japanese version as well. So Drop the let me know. You got this. Yeah, what he said. Okay, defend against enemy attack by pressing R1 to guard or circle to evade. Gotcha. You're coming with us! Can't get surrounded. That was that. Well, I'm waiting. Try harder. No. Was never in doubt. I love how they've all this experience and tells you how many items you get as well in the right hand corner. That's something a little bit different rather than having it constantly uh, after each battle in the original that gives you, tells you what you have. The pace is a lot faster as well in this. Okay, it tells us how to open the chest. This is just absolutely stunning, this game. 
Okay, so if we find Shin logo boxes, we can press square to smash. Okay, I did not know that. Something new. So it looks like we regain a bit of MP and shards. Good. Oh, I love to look at the Buster Sword here. Let's just have a closer look at what Cloud looks like here. Yeah, that looks, that looks sick. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. We're gonna enjoy the work with us. Real joy to look at too. Oh, cool! They even told us what they were saying here. Looks are what people well, I'm first. actually pretty surprised, and I'm actually quite liking the English voice acting at the moment. So. Oh wow! Now you can interact with certain characters too in the NPCs. Come on, nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? <laughs> Which? Uh... You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill. <laughs> oh, well, isn't that a famous scene here? Okay, well, let's see. So, let's look around here. Okay, now we can lock onto specific enemies by pushing down the R3 button. Get him, boy! Guess you're first. Let's punish him. Like oh wow! Okay, that's a stronger attack. Here. Hey! Looks like you're next. Enough. Oh wow, that's awesome. I think that's probably Not best bad. used for tougher enemies. There. Let's quickly look around here. If there's anything we can collect. Looks like it's pretty straightforward here. And I can tell you for sure my jaw is dropped. The main, how amazing this game is it? Oh. Hey Cloud! Elevator's over there! Catch up soon! Oh, the Buster Sword looks so cool. For those of you who are um, curious to see what the original gameplay I did on f PlayStation 4, um, I have, I'll put a link down below for you guys to check out. I have been doing a series of videos on it, um, so don't, he don't hesitate to click on it and have a look. This way. Okay, I realize if you push down left analog stick, you actually do a power run. Not so fast. We've got company. Should be easy. Oh, yeah. Come on. Okay, once it's staggered, that looks like. Okay. Nothing to it. Oh wow, they actually disappeared, become part of the uh, part of the planet, hey? Just like the Mako. Oh, some people say Mako, some people say Marco. 
don't really know what's, which one's the official way of saying it. Nothing here. Let's see what abilities does he have. So we've got the Braver and Focus Thrust. So they look like more of the tougher battles. So I'll use them then. Oh. That it? And just the level of details is, is greatly expanded here now from the, from the original. I mean, there's a lot more areas now you can, you can look at. Here, so where the original didn't. Oh, so you have to hold here. And I've just noticed that the character's a bit more interactive now than, than before. Um, so you feel like you're really now part of the story of everybody. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako's storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Hmm, Cloud looked like just had a little bit of a migraine there. What's going on then? And you can see the how hostile Barrett is, um, because Mara doesn't really trust Cloud at this stage. I'm watching you. In three, two, damn, I'm good. Oh, I never get to talk to Jesse yet. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. Okay, so now it's telling us to switch mode. You can by activating by with press of triangle. With Clown's mode shift ability, you can switch between his balance operating mode and his attack oriented mode. Let's try it out. He's a look. So, so Cloud moves more slow, but Square Unleashed is more powerful attack. Okay. You've got this. We can take it. So it looks like we, we lost the ability to guard. Nice. Wow. I just love how they, the character wants you to defeat the enemies, they fade away. You can see the, the Mako goes everywhere. Alright, before I go on further, let's have a quick look if there's anything we can collect. So, it looks like a lot of this open areas, but there's no actual items you can collect. I'm a little bit... I got this place covered. It would be more interactive to put a little bit more items you can collect, but... Maybe I'm expecting too much. It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. <sighs> Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? <sighs> and we're good. Careful in there. There we go. What are you waiting for? I just love the interact uh, interaction between every character here. Oh, there we go. And just before we go on, I just want to just note here that they made Cloud's overall character look. They redesigned. Pretty much from the advent children back in the day because the technology was a lot older then as well about 10 years ago 
Um, and I, I'm actually really happy with the overall design they've done with all the characters, especially Cloud. Barrett looks absolutely amazing here. Look at that big, gu big gun he's got here. Security is only going to get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. Okay. Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Looks like the elevator's on another floor. Mind pushing that button? Oh, well, yep, of course. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I. Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. This pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Marco! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Marco is, don't you? Marco uh, is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <clears throat> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Wow, there is absolutely no friendship between Barrett and Cloud right now. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Should have asked for more money. <laughs> oh, right. Now we've got Barris have joined. So, Barrett specialized in range attacks, so holding down square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire when equipped with range weapon. Okay, so he can pretty much hit targets where Cloud can't. He's a more of a long range specialist here. So. Gonna throw your sword at him? Let the man with the gun go to work. <laughs> These ten cans ain't got nothing on me. So press triangle while in control of Barrett to deliver a heavy hitting attack. Okay, so he's. Whoa, we got people. You can switch to different characters by pressing up or down. Use up or down, left and right to switch characters. Use L2 or R2 to issue command to allies. Right, so. Bring it uh, home. Do your job, work. Shut up and move over. You got that? Was never in Ooh. doubt. So that's done. So I'm still trying to get used to the, how everything plays out at the moment. I'm still not quite used to everything. 
Oh, that's where we actually came from. Let's have a look what he has. So, Bear has Cure. So, that might be a good idea to cure a cloud. Look what we have here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! So, okay. Oh, he's oh. a Not too shabby. like when you get up there hang on let me try no. okay and I can just notice as well behind Cloud's sword there's a green dot in the center of his sword that's what the materials already been equipped on him so now we are able to see materials being equipped as well so another great thing and I've noticed the sword you can see a lot of dents and scratches which puts a bit more reali realism into the into it oh gosh more Hit hard. And we're almost at our objective. Okay. Look. They don't call those things sweepers for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the forward then first. Alright, we've got our first boss here. Ah, mini boss, I should say. That hunk of junk is a heavy weapons platform. If we rush in, we die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an order. Hitting enemies with certain attacks or dealing large amount of damage will temporarily knock them off balance. So when this happens, put them the spells and those to quickly fill their stagger gauge. Okay, the gauge will fill faster depending on the abilities and magic used. Hey! Right. It's not moving! Let's head it down. Give it all you've got! Alright. Enemies who have been staggered are defenseless and takes more damage, so using unique abilities on staggered foe will attack quickly boost your ATB gauge. Okay, so what I will do is I'll use a command, I'll use an ability, we're going to use Braver. I'll do another one, I'm going to do Focus Thrust as well. There we go. What are you? Twenty something? First. Huh? Soldier of first class. Doesn't go into the twenties. The hell are you talking about? I mean your age, not your goddamn rank. I uh though for all I know, a soldier's rank could be the same as his age. Mm-hmm. Guess that make you a one-year-old, huh? Live and learn! <laughs> okay, I really enjoyed that last battle there. It was it wasn't too overly hard, but uh, it was a lot of good way to actually get to learn the the moves as well for you. So. Um, That's 
that's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. Okay, so I believe this has been shown in e in a lot of the E3s as well, how people play. God damn. I can practically taste the Marco in here. Hurry it up! So guys, don't forget to hit these to get these extra items and uh, you recover MP with Marco Shard as well. Down or something new. Heads up, boys. The end's in sight. <laughs> I'm just quickly gonna have a look here if there's anything. Not that way. Nope. Down the ladder, dummy. Oh, okay, we're forced way. to come to this way. Down the ladder, dummy. See a few more enemies. Um, let's let's switch characters for a sec. Deal with that. There we go. Nice. So it looks like you're predominantly using cloud most of the time, eh? Down to the bottom, to the planet's core. No, the sun is back. I'll go. Need a light guy. Keep it together. Yes, it's my turn. There you are done. And there you have it. There's a lot of interaction between every character the, the further we go along, which is good. You know, you can, you can see how hostile between and Baron and Cloud is between them two. So there's the core, this is where we need to go. So cutting through here will trigger a, a cutscene, I believe. All right, let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? Your call, Merc. Uh, 20 minutes or 30 minutes? Um, I'm gonna do 30 minutes. I don't think there's gonna be a real difference between the two. Um, let's try 30 to be safe. Huh. That long enough for you? Heads up! What in the hell? Hey, how the hell do we fight this thing? 
got reinforced armor plating, but the internals can be overloaded. Lightning magic. <laughs> no other option, huh? Shit. Uh, should I be worried? Alright, let's use some of these bigger moves on this. And let's do focus thrust. Okay. Alright, this is where we need to do lots of damage while it's staggered. Alright, let's heal so, as well. I don't know what the damage. So what's your brilliant plan, genius? Alright, let's just be careful here. Let's continue on. Oh, attack. Whoa. Take the lead. <laughs> it's my time to shine. Or go down in flames. Alright, I think we're gonna heal Cloud this time. Let's do focus shot. Fire in one off. The... They are pain in the air. Right, so what I'm gonna do in this here, I'm gonna focus no, on once he comes back, I'm got. gonna switch back to Cloud. Back. Yeah. Get ready. Since Cloud's got all the it's probably better for this. Oh! Braver. Sorry. Oh. Don't overdo it. Here we go. This is what we need to do. Yes, that's nice. You ain't done. I got this. It's on you. Alright, so staggered, I'm gonna quickly to opt to change the strong mode. Oh wow. Watch the tail! You don't wanna be hit by that laser. Huh? So what do we do? Don't get hit! Whoa, hi. Take cover behind that debris. I'm waiting. Come on, let's keep attacking it. Alright, so i would love... Oh, let's try another focus thrust. So it's a lot of fun here, I've noticed. I'm switching from Barrett to Cloud, Cloud to Barrett. 
lot of fun, really easy as well. What's it doing now? Oh, it's filling Not itself. Repair units. Damn it! We gotta take it out quick or we're screwed. Oh. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Merc. Need my help. When I get my tech. Let's try an ability, let's do a focus shot. Bring it home! Hey, Got a time on attack just right. Hold out until you spot an opening. Yeah, Alright, we better heal up a little bit. Let's do a limit break. He cross slash. I'm gonna do this. You're done. Don't let up. Nice. Finished him off. Perfect timing as well. Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Where should be covering our way out? All right, so so a lot of the demos I haven't seen past this bit, so I am really interested to see how it ends here. You know, so a lot of the E3 videos have always gone to up to that last bit where they fight the boss, and that's it. You don't see any more. Thirty minutes to get out, so that's probably the reason why you get to choose twenty to thirty. But I think, I think thirty, I might have overdone it a little Concentrate. bit. Concentrate. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Whoa, another one. Why not? Yeah, extra yeah. thirty minutes, so I can fight a little bit longer. So make sure you push down the analog stick to give you that extra dash as well, guys. So. So tell me so far guys, what do you think of the game? Uh, please drop a comment, I would love to hear what you guys think so far. Oh, am I going the right direction? You okay? Do I look okay? Help a girl out, would you? My hero! Hey! We'll link up over there! Look after Jesse! Come this way! This route should lead and us straight like to there. It looks like there's a little bit of a romantic between, uh, romance between Cloud and Jesse as, as well. Just based on the way they talk, they're both engaging with each other as well. So, which is really nice to see as well in, in this. This Mako Reactor first section has expanded so much, and uh, I feel really happy what they've done. And I think they a really good job with what they're doing at the moment with this. Shut up and climb. You're not helping. Sorry, just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. I love how Barra has not referred to Cloud to like his name at all, just call him Soldier Boy. Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. 
Garcia. That's that. Let's go. The others are waiting. Yes. Gotta get the hell out of here ASAP. Nice. Okay, let's continue on. So this gameplay is kind of reminds me of Final Fantasy XV and Kingdom Hearts. That's what they've gone for. So you know, what I mean by similar what the, oh, uh, Final Fantasy XV, they're all a uh, free roaming style gameplay like what we're doing here. So you have pretty much full access to every character, like how they move, what they do. Sloppy. Look at the amount of damage. Wow. Uh, please keep in mind guys as well, uh, if you're not sure, uh, any save to this game here will not be carried over to when you actually play the, the actual version that comes out in April, so keep that in mind. Uh, you will have to do all this again and um, also they did mention that there might be slight changes as well with the new when the final version comes out in April so um, what I mean by a few changes there could be maybe uh, you might be able to access to your character menu for example uh, you were able to save at the point possibly uh, and maybe dialogue might be slightly changed character will be more updated it could be anything so this is just a trial and error for people to obviously uh, keep time for the credits so, you know any feedback so that the game isn't good or, uh, can back these feedback to them and hopefully make some improvements in the game okay shock true right? I haven't them yet Alright, oh. oh. Barrett looks like leveled up as well. Okay, am I going in the right direction? Don't get in my oh. way. Are you trying to start oh, more of that's the focus thrust here. Heal Cloud very quickly here. There we go. So after that, as once you've defeated the enemy, no matter what chapter you, you've changed into, it will automatically go back to Cloud as well. So.
All right, go, 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 go. Whoa, Jesse, walk. If I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. Okay, that was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, come on. Whoa, that was a pretty impressive move then. That's a clap for sure, hey? Okay, so it looks like we have finished the demo here for today and oh my goodness, so I just want to give a quick review of what happened just at the end. Um, that's obviously what's going to be going forward in, in the story progression um, where Cloud will take on more of the Shin soldiers. We will meet this mysterious flower girl. Um, spoiler warning: uh, If you those don't want to know, please um, just skip past this little bit. But it will be Aerith who will be our uh, main protagonist uh, as well. Um, as well, that looks like a little bit more. Uh, I don't know how far this will go up to. I think this will go up to right till the end of Vidka. Uh, I think for the first part of the game. Um, but. My review so far, um, game's amazing. Um, just the just the, the dialogue, through to the graphics, of course, the level of detail they put into it. Uh, you definitely know that they've been working on it for the last four and a half years, almost five years into this first small glimpse of Final Fantasy VII of what it will be an overall game. Um, and they were saying that they might be breaking up into three parts. Uh, so in, obviously um, they will be going into more the PS5 version as well for the later uh, models. Uh, uh, sorry, the later games will be going to the new generation PlayStation 5. Um, that's what we've been told. Um, but so far the overall gameplay is very easy to transition to play, easy to switch characters. wasn't over daunting with information as well of how to use the characters, how to use different skills, skills and skills. Um, so I think new players who's coming into Final Fantasy will be able to get into it very quickly. Um, um, I would probably advise for new players to play on easy, if they want to just focus on characters, but if they want to be adventurous and get to know how to get the mechanics of how to play, uh, probably a classic or the normal mode would be the best way forward. Um, but I've got no qualms at the moment, no complaint whatsoever. They've done a fantastic job, Square Enix. Um, I just love how I would love to just to hear the Japanese audio for this game. Um, I've always been preferred to play Japanese games uh, with Japanese dialogue or audio. Uh, I don't mind reading the subtitles too much as well. Um, but if they will have that option uh, when it comes out over here, uh, that would be great. And whether or not there will be a hard version for later on once you finish the game, are you able to put a save game plus? afterwards play on harder difficulty as well um, I think that would be very interesting I think that would keep people coming back for more and playing after finishing for the first time um, 
I think that would be a great addition if that's something they will do. Uh, but leave a comment down below what you guys think so far, just demo, demo so far. And um, if you enjoyed the video, please give me a huge like and do subscribe to my channel. Um, I will be, um, once the game comes out, I will be doing a full gameplay walkthrough uh, and obviously a little bit of review as well. Uh, so with your help, uh, we greatly appreciate it. I am trying to go for a goal of 100 subscribers, so if you guys can help support and smash that subscribe button, that will be great. Um, but for now, thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you soon on the next video. Bye for now.